apostates. Apostasy. Apostates. That the apostates. Uh, we don't want to be rebellious. Instead, we want to follow the lead of the faithful slave. Be content to do that. Be content to do that. Be content to do that. Hi, Rose here. I have a question, and I would like your honest opinion. Here's my question, and please hear me out before you answer. Before I ask the question, please make sure to hit those like, subscribe, and share buttons so this video goes out to a wider audience. Thank you in advance for doing that. When you stop believing as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and you try to show your friends, family, or the elders the facts about what you have found, does that make you an apostate? Why is learning things a bad thing? What exactly is an apostate as defined by the dictionary and then compare that to how an apostate is defined and taught to all Jehovah's Witnesses? The dictionary definition of an apostate is a person who forsakes their religion, cause, political party, etc. So let's say you're a Democrat and you leave that party to become a Republican. By this definition, you're an apostate. When you have a Bible study come into the organization, they are by this definition an apostate. How? Because they have forsaken their former religion and belief system to become one of Jehovah's Witnesses. So if you stop believing in the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, are you an apostate according to this definition? Honestly, yes. By no longer believing in witness doctrine or theology, by this definition, you're an apostate. You don't believe what you were taught anymore. Just like the Bible student did with their religion. You're making a decision based on the information you have found and studied. Again, just like someone who came into the organization based on the information they were shown. But is that necessarily a bad thing? Now, let me tell you why I ask this. First, we need to see what the Bible says is an apostate. Jesus referred to an apostate at John 6, verse 64. He said, an apostate would be those who don't believe in him, Jesus. Galatians 1, verse 6 says an apostate is one who shifts from Jesus or one who moves away from his teachings. So, According to the Bible, an apostate is someone who does not believe in Jesus and his teachings. But that's not what the Watchtower organization says is, a, is an apostate, is it? An apostate, according to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, is someone who either questions anything taught by the organization or the nine men claiming to be the faithful and discreet slave. Apostates. Apostasy. Apostates. That the apostates... Uh, we don't want to be rebellious. Instead, we want to follow the lead of the faithful slave. Including what Anthony Morris has said. In his talk, put up a hard fight for the faith at the 2021 regional convention David Splane stated that apostates are those who talk negatively about the organization itself, whether it's those who are part of the organization now or were at one time, or any type of media saying something negative about the organization, not Jesus. You know, we receive letters at times from brothers and sisters uh, who are troubled by something they saw on a web page, an accusation a rumor 
about the society or about the organization. But that's not what's written in the Bible. The Watchtower organization uses any scripture that speaks about apostasy, claiming those scriptures are talking about leaving the organization itself or speaking negatively about the faithful and discreet slave. Even if someone still believes in Jesus and the Bible, but is that definition correct? No. The Bible only states those who deny Jesus are apostates. So if someone says something negative about the organization or branch, as it is now referred to, or even the faithful and discreet slave, according to the Bible, that's not being an apostate. If someone makes a negative claim against the organization itself, that is not being an apostate. If someone questions the organization's doctrine or practices, that is not being an apostate. If someone disagrees with the faithful and discreet slave, those nine men, according to the Bible, that is not being an apostate. An apostate in the Bible is one who doesn't believe or follow Jesus, not an organization. All witnesses are told to make sure of what they are reading or researching. David Splain, in that same talk in 2021, brought up the Bereans mentioned in Acts 17 and said to follow their example. The Bereans had a strong desire to follow God's truth. In the Bible, the Bereans were commended because they diligently cross-examined Paul's message about Jesus. Right? Be like the Bereans, referred to in Acts chapter 17 and verses 10 and 11. Let's read that. Acts chapter 17, verses 10 and 11. Immediately by night, the brothers sent both Paul and Silas to Berea. On arriving, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. Now these were more noble-minded than those in Thessalonica, for they accepted the word with the greatest eagerness of mind, carefully examining the scriptures daily, carefully examining the scriptures daily to see whether these things were so. So if the Bereans were able to cross-examine Paul and make sure he was telling the truth with what he taught and said, why is it so wrong to cross-examine the organization or the faithful and discreet slave? Where exactly in the Bible does it say you're not to question that slave. It, it doesn't. In fact, the Bible says the exact opposite at 1 Thessalonians 5.21. The Bible says to question and make sure you're getting the truth like the Bereans did with Paul. Well, let's say that something happens we come across something that goes against our understanding of what we're taught as one of Jehovah's Witnesses that the Bible teaches. And no matter how much research we do on JW.org, it just doesn't make sense. So we go to the elders and we ask them, but either their answer doesn't make sense or they can't answer the question and they tell you to rely on Jehovah, he will provide the answer. What happens if you keep questioning like the Bereans did? What happens to you just because the elders can't answer your biblical question or you don't agree with what the organization teaches regarding the scriptures, the teachings, or practices because of things that you found out? The elders accuse you of being divisive. If you continue to question anything, the elders will start accusing you of being an apostate. So in all honesty, 
can you really question like the Brians did? Like the Bible tells you to do. Again, David Splain, in that same talk that I've referred to, said that media coverage does not always tell the truth. He said, we are to beware of what we watch, hear, and what we see. Now, what I find interesting is that if we find anything in the media that's positive, and it has a glowing review about Jehovah's Witnesses, what do you do? You share it as much as you can. You are encouraged to share it as much as you can. Look, look what it's being said about the branch, the organization. But what if there's an article that's negative? It has disturbing news regarding Jehovah's Witnesses or the organization itself. Now, it's considered fake, made up, false, apostate lies you're not to look at. Why? Why can't witnesses see what the media has to say? Can't we be like Job and withstand negativity? That's what David's plane said Job was able to do in his talk, withstand negativity. Does the branch think your faith in God is so weak that you can't handle anything negative about the organization? Or are there things they don't want you to see? 1 Thessalonians 5.21 again says to make sure of all things. How do you make sure of something? You question it. So by saying someone is an apostate because they question the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society's teachings, doctrine, or practices, is the Watchtower organization really following what the Bible says? Especially due to the fact that they have changed their standpoint on different doctrines and teachings so many times over the last 140 years. If someone believes something is absolute truth, only to have that truth changed, are they considered an apostate because they don't agree with the new teachings and understanding? The Watchtower organization itself today disagrees with what they actually taught as truth in prior years. The organization themselves change what they teach. So, does that make the organization apostate? Being accused of being an apostate in the organization is not taken lightly, is it? You're disfellowshipped if you're considered an apostate because you said something against not Jesus, but the branch, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, the faithful and discreet slave, those nine men. When you're disfellowshipped, you're completely shunned by your family and all of your friends. You're shunned because you followed what the Bible tells you to do. You questioned and cross-examined the Watchtower organization like the Bereans did Paul. So I'm going to end this video with another question. Is the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society correct by claiming someone is an apostate because they questioned the teachings of nine men are those nine men really following what the Bible says? Or are they teachings of doctrines made up by men as shown at Matthew 15, 9? And if those nine men aren't allowing you to follow your Bible-trained conscience and question what they teach, 
Are they really the slave of Matthew 24 and Mark 13 and Luke 12? This is something that, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I think it's really important to ask yourself. We don't want to be rebellious. Instead, we want to follow the lead of the faithful slave, be content to do that. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you are able to, please share. Well, take care. And as always, thanks for watching. Now think about poison. What's the best way to avoid being poisoned? Well, we have to recognize poison when we see it and then avoid it.